Afternoon guys, welcome back to our channel. So today, uh, Martin has been working on this 2021 roller team and this local customer has come to us for Alpine Halo 9 and also a Wi-Fi system in the back. So join me inside and we'll show you what we've been doing. So this roller team is the 746 model, I believe. Um, do you know, actually really spacious in here. Massive double bed behind Sammy um, up on the overhang. And um, you've got your main kitchen area, dining area, and behind me is the lounge. Now, um, this customer came to us a few weeks ago and said, look, my radio system is useless and uh, my existing Wi-Fi is just not fit for purpose. Um, so what we've done is Martin has been up on the roof, fitted our usual white big motorhome Wi-Fi, which is the um, antenna, which is the 5G one. Uh, and then in our little access cupboard here, which is our normal sort of go-to, if Sammy can come round. Let's just turn that on. Um, so in the cupboard here where you'd normally find things like your TV antenna, and in this one is the table and clothes or other such stuff, Generally, this is where most of this sort of stuff gets fitted. Uh, there's only so much you can do in terms of making this nice and neat. Now, if Sammy can get it, uh, above here is our work for the antenna. That's then bought through and you can see the cable is then nice and neatly cable clipped along and into the actual 5G router itself. Um, this customer hasn't yet provided a SIM card, but once uh, they do, we can then plug that in, set it up. But realistically with these, they are fit and forget. Um, and of course, a motorhome is like a Faraday cage. So the quicker we get the signal in from outside and into the vehicle, um, then they can connect their um, handsets or their security cameras or their TV computers or anything else to uh, then the 5G network providing they've got signal. Of course, where we are here in Pool, uh, we are very close to Tower Park. So um, we've got really, really good 5G. So we can test that theory as well um, and be able to stream down with films and other such stuff, Netflix, Amazon Prime. Um, but of course, you don't have the luxury of that on many um, campsites. Uh, you are uh, open to the elements. If you are gonna use the, uh, bleh, I'm doing a lot of erring today. If you are gonna use the campsite Wi-Fi, these are over congested um, and most of the time, again, uh, just useless. So that's why we fit so many of these because you are in control as long as you have signal. Now you could be in the highest place anywhere on in a field overlooking the sea, but if you haven't got decent 5G signal for what the SIM card is that you've already got fitted, um, then it's of no use to you. There are multi-network SIM cards out there that allow you to pay an obscene amount of money a month. You can't stop and start, um, but it will bounce off the best network. Uh, and again, that's all well and good, providing you've got network signal wherever you are. So that's the 5G Wi-Fi in there um, with its portable 5G Now router, which you can remove and take outside with you, but why you'd want to do that, because then you're removing the element of it being fitted to the antenna. Uh, next aspect is the Alpine Halo 9.
just before we look at the Alpine Halo, because we do loads of videos um, and that's just because we are predominantly fitting Alpine equipment, just wanted to show you a bit about what came out of this vehicle. Um, this is a regular thing for us uh, and this is a system that was either fitted by the dealer, um, fitted at the factory or retrofitted, we don't know, but they're never done very well. Uh, that does contribute to how well it performs or, or how well or how badly it performs. Um, ultimately, for me, I'm not a great fan of these brands that aren't well-known brands, no names mentioned, um, but this is a double DIN touchscreen system. This particular system, the touchscreen has completely failed, so only had the buttons on the top of the actual system itself, and even then you were losing a lot of functionality, so that meant this system or rendered this system completely useless. Um, you did have things like FM and DAB and Bluetooth and camera input uh, and steering wheel controls, but if it doesn't function for what you need it for in a motorhome, then it might as well just be a heavy paperweight. So we're gonna give this back to the customer and he's probably gonna throw this in the bin. So in this particular vehicle, um, we have used genuine Alpine Interconnex Loom. That is a CAN bus or data fed system. It's a genuine Alpine product. We wire it into the back of the radio and the existing plugs. We also then give it data um, by connecting to the back of the instrument cluster. And then that allows things like speed pulse, reverse, and um, steering wheel controls. So that when you've got a system like this fitted, you're getting the best you can out of it. Um, now this customer has gone for the Halo 9, which is the non-nav digital media receiver. You've got wireless Apple CarPlay, and you've got your FM, you've got your DAB, you've got your USB, and you've got other really, really nice features if you want it, but not necessarily connected like Tidal app. And if you wanted to, you can even have an HDMI cable as well. Now the Halo 9 in this particular vehicle, um, the reason why we decided to do something a little bit different for you today is purely because of the fact that we do so many of the same videos. We get bored as well and we don't want you guys to get bored. Uh, we wanna do something slightly different. Um, good looking dashboard, multi-function steering wheel. It's the, one of the last of the Ducato 7 dashboards, even though it's on a 21 reg. And now after removing the small six and a half inch touch screen that doesn't really work anymore. We've now gone for the beautiful nine inch media system. 720p crisp HD touch screen and of course a class D internal amplifier which is gonna give the speakers a little bit more of a run for their money but realistically this customer will probably be back to, be back to see us for audio upgrades as well. So this is a 2021 Roller Team 746 that's been into us today for um, a head unit makeover with the Alpine Halo 9 and also connectivity at the back for watching TV, checking emails, security cameras and whatever else with the 5G compact smart uh, Wi-Fi system. So if you've got a vehicle like this and it needs some of this equipment or anything else, please do get in touch with us. Our website link is in the bio and as usual, follow us on social media and our YouTube channel. And thank you very much.